Hi, this is Noel of Cree Restaurant Chile, and I'm here in the Bellington High Resort Centre and we're going to do a couple of cookery videos. Now we do want to see, after you make them, put up pictures, add them to us, um, so we'll all have a bit of fun with it. Nice easy dishes, they're the ones that a lot of people put up, the, the ones that were mostly um, asked for. So we're going to do a few different ones, we're going to do vegetarian, we're going to do a pasta dish, we're going to do some fish dishes, nice and simple and easy, and I'm going to show you how to take each dish, bar of pasta dish, onto another dish really simply. Um, and we'll have a bit of fun and don't forget to add the pictures afterwards good batter and different put them up lads um, it's just a bit of fun and uh, yeah so we'll get started now we're, first dish we're going to make is a pasta carbonara the Irish version not the Italian version so I'm going to start with some rapeseed oil I always use rapeseed oil never olive oil when I'm cooking olive oil leaves a flavor and has a very low burn point you're much better off with something like rapeseed oil this is an Irish one so we're just going to add some of that in I've everything done here so that so a bit of chopped onion and some garlic. Good hot pan to get it going straight away because you get that smell then straight away. The onion and the garlic, you just you don't want to colour it, you just want to get it the flavour starting to come out. So just like that, and then we're gonna add this is smoked bacon, you can use normal bacon, it's just chopped up nice and roughly, don't be overly worried about it being too tidy. And you put that in. Now, to pre cook the pasta, and this dish is literally going to take minutes. So, so, all you're really trying to do is cook the bacon here, and everything else literally is very, very fast. So, I just boiled the pasta in a bit of salt and water, I have it here beside me. Eight minutes, and you can use any pasta you want in it, any pasta at all. Whatever your favourite pasta is, use that one. So, I'm going to add some mushrooms to this as well, so I've just sliced up here. Everything that I'm going to use in these cooking videos was bought in a supermarket locally. Um, nothing way out there that you won't be able to find. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of butter because we're Irish and we love butter. And when I say butter, I mean real butter. Not fast, I can't believe it's not butter because I can. It has to be real butter. Just a little bit. And then I'm just going to add some wine. It doesn't matter if you're cooking for kids, you can still add the wine because you're going to burn the alcohol off here. So that you get the bubble straight away, that's what you want. And literally that's gonna bubble up in minutes. You can actually smell the wine, that's the alcohol leaving it. So that's what it's gonna look like. And you're just going to very quickly let that reduce a little bit. So it's a high heat, very fast, very quick dish. That thing you can knock together in minutes. If you want a vegetarian version, leave out the bacon obviously. You can add something else in there, courgettes, peppers, something like that, carrots, even if you had some cooked carrots in the fridge and you want to use them up, you make the exact same dish. Just gonna let that bubble now for a minute or two and then we're just gonna add some, a little bit of cream, not a lot, just a little bit. And again, that's gonna thicken the whole thing. Then we'll pop in an egg, some lovely art eggs here, and the pasta, and we're just heating up the pasta because it's already cooked. Really, really quick dish, very simple. As you can see already, it's starting to reduce down that wine smell is gone now and that's the alcohol having been burnt off of it. So happy out to give it to the kids. So we just want a little bit of cream in this. This is some Lee Strand cream. Now not too much. A couple of tablespoons worth, or a couple of soup spoons worth. And you're just going to let that now come up in a rapid boil and that'll take it straight away. So that's literally only going to take two minutes. So in there we have probably six or seven mushrooms sliced, most of a packet of bacon diced up, just less than half an onion and about two cloves of garlic. And as I said, with the wine, you're talking half a glass and with the cream, you're just talking just enough to get it all bind us. And as you can see, that has come together really, really quickly. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna add a pasta. For that much, it's about a third of a packet, which would be enough to feed three people easily and um, if you've got kids you're going to get more out of it all you're going to do is fold that into that so as I said the pasta was cooked just salt the boiling water eight minutes done so that will heat that straight away so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off the ring and I'm just going to let the residual heat of the ring to finish this because once you drop the egg in you don't want it to scramble so when you're doing the egg part of it off the heat Nice and simple, we're just getting all the pasta lovely coated and as you can see straight away the sauce is gone, the pasta has soaked it all up. 
we just take one of our eggs and we drop that in. Once you drop this in, then start mixing straight away. Fix that off the heat because you don't want to scramble the egg. Just want the egg to cook through nice. It'll gloss the whole thing and it'll enrich it and just give it that lovely finish. And that is an Irish carbonara. Done. A couple of minutes. Ooh la la. You get two fine edibles eaten out of that. And that's it. It's a pasta carbonara. Literally a couple of minutes and it's done. Trick with the egg off the heat just at the last minute when you pop in the egg and you just stir it in and there you go. And that's that one done. So we want to see the videos of you doing this. So pop them up. We'll talk to you soon.